Good morning. It's Vlogmas day 21. I'm so tired. It's up late. Took the dogs for a walk. And now I have to go to my doctor's appointment. So I made an appointment for an annual like checkup, physical, whatever. Gotta get it under the wire, you know, because I get one free one a year and I am done by this year. So I always get blood work too, which means I've been fasting since midnight and I'm so hungry. So I'm tired and I'm hungry. Just, just everyone stay out of my way. And I'm afraid of needles. I'm the worst at getting blood taken out. I mean, I've gotten better with it, but I'm still pretty chicken. So one tip, yes, you're supposed to like fast, but to get your blood taken out pretty easily, like maybe 20, min 20 to 30 minutes before your appointment, drink a glass of water because you're dehydrated. So your blood is like molasses. You gotta like loosen it up. All right, I'm gonna go. So I took my blood already. That was like the lamest like annual physical I've ever had. For starters, they said that they couldn't check for B12 or vitamin D or anything like that because then they would have to charge it as something different to the insurance they couldn't include that in the physical. And I was like, even though I've had, I have a history of being vitamin D deficient, nope. So that doesn't make any sense, that's different. And literally, when the doctor came in, he asked me questions, not really health related. He asked me what I do for a living. He asked me if I was married and if I had kids. And then he literally checked my pulse and listened to my lungs. That was my physical. Like, didn't look like in my eyes, like, I don't know, inside, I don't know, like inside my mouth, like, I don't know comment below what your physical includes because from what I remember like they used to like poke around in your abdomen and stuff I just got gypped I feel like but at least I got blood work now I got my little applesauce go go squeeze not sponsored <laughs> I just love these and I get them through Amazon Prime now all right time to go home Are you tired? You're tired. <laughs> so, I'm getting too old for these late night walks. I'm just like leaving alone. It's, he's so cute. I'm going back to bed. So I went back to sleep when I got home, like I said, and it was glorious, such a good time, and then I got up, I finished the video description for my empties video that went on my tried and trending channel, I figured I'll start putting empties on there, do like first impressions, and empties are like review type videos, yeah, so I'm heading to painted my nails. It was like well overdue. I need to stop watching the news. Not like the news news, but the political news. Like CNN and MSNBC. It's just all it is is do it, getting me agitated. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's gonna be another another boring vlog. You guys are so nice though. You guys are always say like that they're not boring and that you guys like them anyways, even if it's just like chatting in the car. But um like to do some more entertaining stuff, but everything right now is just centered around, you know, working and getting the blogs out and organizing the clothes I need to like list and start listing those clothes because I, I'm literally drowning in, in containers of clothes. I'm just so ready to get them out. 
get them out. I wanted to like kind of have that project done before the year started, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So I'm working on figuring out like what's a, a realistic goal, you know. I don't want to say ending that project because I feel like that does put a lot of pressure. I prefer to tackle projects based on like milestones. Back when I first like you know, really got back into my eBay store. You know, I went through all my things and I was still, like, I was working full time on my other job. You know, I was doing, I was, you know, starting YouTube, I think, at that time. So I was very, like, overwhelmed with stuff, but I still wanted to, like, get things listed. And rather than saying, like, I need to list 100 items by tomorrow, I made it, like, more realistic. So I would, every day on my to do list, I would put list 10 items. Even though I knew, hey, like, I need to do that every day, I always put it on my list every single day. That way, it's one thing that I can make sure I do and I can cross it off. I get such satisfaction from crossing things off my list. With all the bins around me, I just feel like it's very hard to like create and film videos. Like, I have a lot pre-recorded, which is good. So I've just been editing that stuff, but even like editing, it's just like, I'm just drowning in containers. Um, you know, I was talking to my friend last night about it, and she's in a similar situation. She was like, oh, like, I kind of just want to get rid of that. I'm like, don't eat them, whatever, because it's just easier. I know how it is because I've been doing the eBay thing for a long time. It's really a win-win. Like, you get money back, and then someone gets to have an item that they may not be able to afford at full price. You know, and especially with me, like I know I take really good care of my stuff. I feel so like mucusy. I'm I'm actually surprised with how mucusy I feel that the doctor I'm putting in quotations because basically what he did, any rando on the street could have done today. I'm finding hard to believe that he didn't hear anything awkward in my lungs. I'm gonna not go into a doctor rant. I'm going to just keep driving. <laughs> Not gonna go there. I do owe you guys an Amazon Prime Now rant. It's coming. I've been holding back, but it's coming. People in SUVs that come to a complete stop on speed bumps make me want to jump off a building. I understand if you're like in a sedan, but even in my previous car, I didn't come to a complete stop on speed bumps because, hello, like, it's not an issue. Do you have people in SUVs, which can go off-roading? It's called a sport utility vehicle. That's what it stands for. I don't know. Oh, a lot of you guys have been asking, like, what is the stuff is on the back of my steering wheel. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure, but I have a feeling it is remnants of my car accident because when I got my car back, I was so happy to get it back that we didn't really, like, look very very detailed and, and all the stuff we just kind of saw that the car was like the car was like you know decent enough but we've been like I've been noticing things here and there like for the example they never reattached my middle um, seat belt so I went to use it I was gonna put the my cousin in the middle seat but the seat belt wasn't attached and like the handle like the buckle of the seat belt was like covered in like the um, dust from like the the airbags that came down or whatever so like this entire left side of the car was basically demolished so there's that so like I, I've been noticing like right now I noticed like in my dash like there's some like dust marks and stuff like that that's the only thing I could think of because it's a similar type of color to like what I found on the seatbelt buckle I don't know but what's I gonna say Okay, so a lot of people do Vlogmas up until the 25th. It's kind of like a countdown to Christmas. Some people do it through the 31st. I won't be doing it through the 31st. I'm just letting you guys know that now. I'm only doing it through the 25th. And the reason for that, I'll kind of give you guys, well, you guys aren't the first to know. My Patreon community were the first to know because they're always the first to know for everything. They've known about this because they were actually the ones that gave me the encouragement and the idea like months ago. So the reason why I'm not doing Vlogmas past the 25th is because one of my resolutions is to do something that I've thought of before to do, but I just didn't think was possible. And that is to vlog every single day for the year of 2017. So I will be putting out a vlog every single day in 2017. It's one of my resolutions. I know it's gonna be difficult 
but I feel like I found a rhythm with Vlogmas and, and I feel like I find that rhythm every year with Vlogmas that I've done it and you know as the years pass like I get quicker with editing and you know I find little tricks and stuff and and for me I think the main reason why this is gonna just turn into a long thing the main reason why I always had a hard time putting vlogs out and why I feel like daily vlogging is super intense is you know I still have my other channels that I'm putting videos out for and I always wanted the vlogs to be so interesting doing super interesting things and edited perfectly and all that but when it comes to daily vlogging unless that's the only thing you have going on in your life they're not always the most beautifully edited with like the right music like not everyone is Casey Neistat you know so I think this is just kind of a challenge and I, and I have to admit I was inspired by Casey Neistat ending his vlog ironically because you know I thought of the fact that that whole rule where like when someone uh, like when a baby is born someone passes there's like a one in one out rule it's kind of the same I think like for daily vloggers like when he decides to stop daily vlogging like maybe I should start daily vlogging like just because he f he said that it was a challenge for him and it was something that he wanted to challenge himself with so I think that can definitely um, be interesting for me and you guys have been giving me a good response for these vlogs like they don't get crazy amounts of views but that's okay I will be doing like in my resolution video I'll be talking about this again but sorry the lighting is weird it's kind of cloudy today we're actually getting a cold front which basically means it's 74 degrees outside so uh, I'm gonna let you guys go of course this super short vlog turned into a super long one but I think I'm getting home pretty late, so there probably won't be much more this evening. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hey guys, hello, hello. So I'm home, I ate, I did all my stuff. You know what time it is. It's time to do our countdown to gorgeous. A few of you guys asked how much this was. This was actually, $79, but a $205 value. So it is pricey. Honestly, it's probably not something I would get normally, but I really wanted to get an advent calendar because I think it's fun to do during Vlogmas, except that I forgot, so I kind of messed that up. But I think something like this is, is even though it's like pricey, if you were gonna get this for someone as a gift, like any advent calendar, it's a nice gift. Like it's, it's probably, I don't want to say it's overpriced because it says it's a $205 value, but you know, you don't know if you're going to like all the items, but the fact that it's more, I guess, for the presentation, that's what I would say. Like it, it's a pretty gift and like it has the little bow, you know, you could just hand this to someone. It would be amazing. And there's 24 days of stuff. All right. So we left off on six. I did my nails, so here's hoping that I don't mess them up. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna get a nail clipper because sorry, I do not want to mess up my nails. I just painted them, and this needs to last. So I've got my Willis Moxie lip gloss in the shade Crab Pleaser. So we have to open six again, right? I hope I did that right. Ooh! Hmm. So they're Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. I, I didn't even know that this existed. Two pumps, entire face. So I guess this is like some sort of treatment. At first I thought it was like a setting spray, but it's not. See, like for me, this wouldn't be, you know, worth the $79 because I don't really wear lip gloss a lot or like these little like balms and stuff. But like I said, like this, I, I really got it for Vlogmas. So this is another one of their Pop of Passion. And this is in the shade Pink Passion. Impossible. Impossible. Why would I want to open it with one hand? So. And the reason why I will be with one hand is because I'm annoyingly lazy, like too lazy to set up my tripod. 
which would make my life so much easier. And I'm trying to close this through the viewfinder. Okay, number 10. I should like pre-open these, but it made it easier. Okay, so here we have they're all over face color and glee radiance. And we need to do 11 and 12, right? These I can take out. Another Marvelous Moxie lip gloss. This is in the shade. Risk taker. All right, one more for today. Where's number 12? Oh, here it is. I'll bet you this is an eye color, just from the size of it. Yep. So, this is eye color in chime. Makes it tricky to close. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog just because I did so much talking in the car as usual. So for tomorrow, I do have work. That's kind of the main thing that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to visit Peanut tomorrow. It's been a little difficult to visit Peanut. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I do know why because I'm, I'm working now. So I'm on you know someone else's schedule plus all the other stuff that I have to get done. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what's on my nails, it is Butter London. In the shade Henley Regatta. It's one of those shades that like it was literally brand new. I hadn't used but it was so pretty I really wanted to keep it so I made it a point to use it. I don't usually like green nails but this is a really pretty green. I try my best when I'm filming videos or taking product photos and whatnot to have a more like neutral nail so that it doesn't clash with like whatever product I'm holding up and so it just looks like softer you know because when you're showing a product you don't want I mean it doesn't really matter, like, but I prefer, like, it's not like a rule or anything, but I prefer, like, not having, like, my nails compete with what I'm showing, you know what I mean? Don't quote me on that because I've worn, like, neon yellow nails in videos before, but I've just been making a point lately to kind of pay attention to, like, those little details, but I love some bright nail polish, so, heck, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna get to editing this video and uh, here we go, another eight minutes. Another eight minutes of footage, oh my God. <laughs> Bye guys, just kidding. So one last thing I wanted to say, like I really, really, really love when you guys comment on my videos, especially the vlogs. Like I love when you guys comment on all my videos, but there's something about like when you guys comment on my vlogs that just makes me extra happy. Cause I'm like not showing makeup, which is what I usually do. It's really just my life. and. The fact that you guys comment and you guys agree with me, don't agree with me, like share your thoughts, like I love that. But I do want to say, like, I do my best to respond to all the comments and I know like I hate when YouTubers say this, but like I, I do read all the comments. So like even if I don't respond to every single one of your comments, I do read them like for sure. So don't ever hesitate to leave a comment thinking like I'm not going to respond. I do my best like even when I'm working, like if I have a free moment. I like try to go on and see what comments and try to reply as much as possible. Just know that I read all of them, so everything you guys say, I take it in. So now I'm really done. Bye.